Chapter 14 About this time war broke out in the region. King Amraphel of Babylonia, King Arioch of Elisar, King Cardolaomer of Elam, and King Tidal of Goim fought against King Bira of Sodom, King Birsha of Gomorrah, King Shinab of Adma, King Shemaber of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, now called Zoar. The kings of Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, Zeboim, and Bela formed an alliance and mobilized their armies in Sidium Valley, that is the valley of the Dead Sea. For twelve years they had all been subject to King Kedoleomer, but now in their thirteenth year they rebelled. One year later, Kedoleomer and his allies arrived. They conquered the Rephites in Ashtaroth Karnaim, the Zuzites in Ham, the Emites in the plain of Kiriathaim, and the Horites in Mount Seir, as far as El Paran at the edge of the wilderness. Then they swung around to En Mishpat, now called Kadesh, and destroyed the Amalekites and also the Amorites living in Hazazon Tamar. But now the army of the kings of Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, Zeboim, and Bila, now called Zoar, prepared for battle in the valley of the Dead Sea against King Kedoleomer of Elam and the kings of Goim, Babylonia, and Elasar, four kings against five. As it happened, the valley was filled with tar pits, and as the army of the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled, some slipped into the tar pits, while the rest escaped into the mountains. The victorious invaders then plundered Sodom and Gomorrah and began their long journey home, taking all the wealth and food with them. They also captured Lot, Abram's nephew who lived in Sodom, and took everything he owned. One of the men who escaped came and told Abram the Hebrew, who was camped at the oak grove belonging to Mamre the Amorite. Mamre and his relatives Eshkol and Aner were Abram's allies. When Abram learned that Lot had been captured, he called together the men born into his household, 318 of them in all. He chased after Kedoleomer's army until he caught up with them in Dan. There he divided his men and attacked during the night from several directions. Kedoleomer's army fled, but Abram chased them to Hobah, north of Damascus. Abram and his allies recovered everything, the goods that had been taken, Abram's nephew Lot with his possessions, and all the women and other captives. As Abram returned from his victory over Kedoleomer and his allies, the king of Sodom came out to meet him in the valley of Sheva, that is, the king's valley. Then Melchizedek, the king of Salem, and a priest of God Most High, brought him bread and wine. Melchizedek blessed Abram with this blessing. Blessed be Abram by God Most High, creator of heaven and earth, and blessed be God Most High, who has helped you conquer your enemies. Then Abram gave Melchizedek a tenth of all the goods he had recovered. The king of Sodom told him, Give back my people who were captured, but you may keep for yourself all the goods you have recovered. Abram replied, I have solemnly promised the Lord God Most High, creator of heaven and earth, that I will not take so much as a single thread or sandal thong from you, Otherwise you might say, I am the one who made Abram rich. All I'll accept is what these young men of mine have already eaten, but give a share of the goods to my allies. Aner, Eshkol, and Mamre 